Roger, look at you with your cute little stuffed mouse there. Huh? That's adorable. Not so cute when they're in your house. No, they can they gnaw are. on stuff. They can make nests. They can just become a general pest of the inside of your house. Okay. So they want to get in. Why? Because they're looking for food, they're looking for warmth. Exactly. Time of year, temperatures change. They want a place to spend the winter, and it's, your house is nice. Okay. So you got some tips for how we deal with them? I do. Now, here's a classic, the old-fashioned snap trap. You put a little bit of peanut butter on there, and the mouse comes up. I've set a lot of those, and they're very effective. They are. A couple of tips to making them effective is to put them along the edge of a wall or in a corner, because mm -hmm. that's where the mice run. Okay. The other is use a little bit of peanut butter, too much, and they actually lick it off without setting up the trap. Right. I think the only knock on these is that they're a little dicey to set. People don't like having to work both sides of it, and they're always afraid they're going to snap their own finger on it. Right, and you've got it facing the right way, so if it did accidentally trip, it wouldn't take your fingertip Ooh, with it. Boy, look out. Go, go ahead. No, nope, this one's loaded. This one's really easy to set. You just take, go like that. So how's that going to go off? Go ahead. Check your mouse. Oh! Oh, oh yeah. All right. So same idea, just easier to set. Right, so what they've done is they've come up with some versions that are covered. This is a plastic hood that actually on the inside is a trap just like that. So you just set this. So once he gets snapped, you don't yep. actually have to look at your handiwork. Right, and it'll trip and it'll say mouse caught on the outside. You just take the whole thing and get rid of it. Beautiful, what's this guy here? This one's pretty morbid. This, <laughs> this is an electric one that will what? actually kill him. Open it up. Oh. They set a foot on those pads at the same time and they no snapping, but same effect, and then uh, I guess once he's in there, just dispose of yeah, it. Yeah, actually, that one's good for a lot, of, a lot of traps. Not a lot of people like to see that, though. What we like the people to do is actually look for how the mouse is getting in the house mm -hmm. and block it. Tommy has a great idea where he puts foam in an opening, then takes this cloth and pushes it in. Now, you have to remember, anything bigger than a quarter of an inch, the mice can get through. Crazy how small of a space they can get through. Unbelievable. So, so this is a combination of the two of them? Right. This is a great solution. Foam, wire cloth, and then this again. Right. Now, some of the places are really tight, really hard to get to. So this steel wool works really great for in a little hole or anywhere. If it's way away, you can take a stick and just push it in the hole, and they won't chew on that. They don't like it. Right. Okay. So that sends them out. So how do you feel about the whole catch and release idea? I mean, I understand it's a little bit more humane than that, but, I mean, is this practical? Well, it, they're effective in catching mice, but what do you do with them afterwards? In I, Massachusetts, I take them to my neighbor's house. Yeah, well, that's the problem. In Massachusetts, it's illegal to transport a live animal and let it go on someone else's property. Right, okay. Not, so, may not be true in every state, but that's just for here. So if you're going to do catch and release, just make sure you got a plan for the release part. Yes, exactly. Gotcha. All right. Now, the other thing that works really well is repellents. It covers an area, and it'll keep them away without killing or doing anything like that. This is a great one. You just take and throw this in your RV or a boat, and it lasts 30 days. Good. All right, so some good tips, and if none of this works, I guess you're making a call to the exterminator. Yeah, and, and they may use a poison to get rid of the mice. And in that case, you may end up with a little whiff of something that died in the wall. All right, good tips, Roger. Thank you. Thank you. They're cute, aren't they?